Hi, I'm Angelo. I'm the owner and head pastry chef for Marburn Pastry Shop, Long Island, New York. Today we're going to be making almond patty floss. And here are the ingredients. Over here we have American Almond Brand macaroon paste, sugar, cake flour, shortening butter, eggs, and then we have two containers with the vanilla and rum. And we're going to take this to the machine. So now we're here to put the macaroon paste in the machine and break it up. So what we want to do is we're going to put a little bit of eggs just to make it to a smooth paste. And then we add other ingredients here. Just going to add the sugar. So we're going to add now the butter. Once the butter goes in, then we're going to get the shortening. We're going to add our flavors, it's vanilla and rum. And now we're going to cream this in, uh, to a light, fluffy batter. And in we're going to be in eggs in about three stages. But one of the important steps is we got to scrape it down a little bit first before we put anything else. We add gradually some eggs in here. So now we're going to scrape it again before we add the next eggs. So it's important that you, you know, really keep scraping periodically to have a uniform batter. The batter is already whipped, so now we're going to stop it, put it at first speed, and we're going to add the flour. So we're going to go ahead and scrape it to ensure that the batter is all uniform. Now that we've finished mixing the batter for the petit fours, we're gonna go ahead and sample it. We're gonna put the batter in the sheet pan here. Again, it's important that it gets put out evenly. So for the petit fours, you need to prepare three sheet pans. Once we prepare them, they bake for about nine to 10 minutes. You don't wanna over bake them. Now that we're finished baking them, we're going to go ahead and sample them. We're going to use apricot. Or you could use raspberry jam. It's according to the pastry chef preference. Spread it just evenly. I'm going to score the pan. Push it down a little bit. So now that this step is almost done here, we're gonna go ahead and put the dirt sheet on top. Now we have finished assembling. We're gonna compress them, and let them sit for several hours, and then we're gonna complete them. Now that we have uh, compressed them, I'm gonna take the paper off. We're gonna flip it over in the board here because we're gonna roll marzipan. Okay, so here you could see the compression. It makes sure evenly. We're just gonna put a little bit of the jam to attach the marzipan. So 
So here we have the marzipan, and you want to use a good quality marzipan that the almond flavor will, will come out when you use it into the patty forge. We're just going to kneel it a little bit. Just going to dust a little bit of sugar. Just going to make a little bit of indentation here. A little more sugar. We're going to roll it out thin. Just want to add a little bit more sugar. Just to lift it a little bit. And you want to get it to the size of the half sheet pan here. I'm just going to go ahead and just sweat it off a little bit. The marzipan adds flavor to the petit fours because when you bat into it, you have a little bit of the thin layer of marzipan and complements the batter with the apricot and the frangipan. Now we're going to go ahead. Just want to roll it, just press it a little bit. And we're just going to trim it. Now that we have the marzipan on top, we're going to cut the edges and we're going to trim off the excessive here. And then we're going to cut them into cubes. So now we have the, this ruler here. It's about an inch and a half wide. We're just going to score it. I'm going to go ahead and cut it. Score it again. So you have So this then gets put on the screen and it gets uh, glazed with the uh, fondant. Thank you for watching. I hope you enjoy making our patty for us.